Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another holiday me video, and welcome to my cozy winter nighttime routine. Just a little look at what we've been up to in these cozy winter Christmas nights, a little look at our routine with Milo, my newborn, and yeah, just thought I'd show you what we get up to. Just thought I'd show you our dinner, which was Bradley's chicken noodle soup. It's so good. We have our vlog where we make this. I'll link it up in the corner, but it was perfect for this cozy winter night. And then I honestly took advantage of the fact that I was quote unquote working and filming this and I took a pamper night, I took a bath. So <laughs> you're getting the glamorous version of my winter nighttime routine. But I know you guys like like a little pamper evening. So I lit my Christmas Eve candle since Milo's not around and I am actually listening to this Christmas album from Megan Trainor. I love it, it's very good. I love Megan Trainor, so that's not surprising. But I listened to that as I was getting unready for bed. So I took out my cute headband, put my hair up in a bun, and I wanted to do a face mask. So I had to do the unthinkable, which is wash my face in the sink. I usually refuse and I just get in the shower to wash my face, but I wanted to, to use a face mask and I had makeup on. So I took off my makeup with a simple compostable makeup wipe, which I love their compostable. It's very cool. Um, and I like these because they don't really tug at my skin, but they do a good job of getting off all my makeup. Well, not all of it. And I have to zit there, which I was pointing out. Um, but they do a good job of getting off pretty much most of my makeup. But then I do go in with a double cleanse of my simple, again, kind of skin moisturizing facial wash. I love this. I talk about it all the time, whether it's to get off makeup, just using it in the morning to cleanse my skin with what used to be my Clarisonic. I just love, this is my favorite cleanser. It just works. It's really cost effective and it never dries out my skin. Then I'm going in with the Trader Joe's Pink Peppermint Face and Body Mask. First major disappointment, it's not pink. But besides that, I don't really know how I feel about it. I think maybe I just need to keep using it, but it does tingle a little bit, which is nice because of the peppermint. And it does have like little beads in there so that when you wash it off, it's a little bit of a scrub, which is really nice but it does kind of dry out my skin and it leaves my face really, really red. Um, but I know it's more of like a clay mask, which that can happen. Both of those things, dryness and redness. Um, but it does dry down in five minutes. So that's really nice if you need something quick. Then I am preparing my bath. I'm just lighting the other candles I have by my bath, which I've really enjoyed. As you can see, I've used up that tapered candle pretty much. Um, but I just enjoy lighting those. Then I'm going to run my bath. I'm going to be using the reusable candy cane bubble bar from Lush. This smells like vanilla and peppermint. It smells really good. It makes really nice like white, stiff, frothy bubbles. You guys know I love the bubble bars from Lush. And this one's a little festive and super cute. I decided to use my Sleepy Bear bath bomb, which is a new bath bomb for this Christmas season. And I was so excited about it. And it wasn't bad. It just wasn't amazing. It smells like Sleepy or Twilight. But I think I just prefer like the actual Twilight bath bomb over this. But it was still nice. It's not bad or anything. It just didn't wow me. Um, but it does have little lavender pieces that come out of it. So beware of that if you don't want those down your drain. Then I hopped out on my new bath mat, I can link it below, and put on my Ugg slippers. But then I did use the Josie Marin Pro Retinol Body Butter on my belly. And then I used the Sleepy Body Lotion on the rest of my body to match the scent of the bath bomb. Okay, this I thought would be fun to try in a video, a Christmassy video. I, <laughs> this smells to me like vanilla Tylenol. Like it is not a scent that I would ever want to smell again. So beware of that. But I love the Sephora sheet masks. They're my favorite sheet masks, the only one I'll buy. And this was like a new one for Christmas time, but I didn't care for the smell. So I was happy to get that off my face, but I am just rubbing in the remnants. This one was for moisturizing, which I did need, especially after that clay mask. Then I'm going in with this hydrating eye cream from First Aid Beauty. They recently sent me this and I am giving it a try. So I will keep trying it out and let you know within the coming months what I think about it. But so far it's very moisturizing. It smells like cucumber, which I like. Then I'm going in with the Trader Joe's 100% Organic Argan Oil. I like this stuff. I don't love it. I don't find it to be the most moisturizing oil, but it does get the job done and I'm kind of just like out of everything. I do need to like go to Ulta and make some purchases, but it gets the job done. Just sometimes I apply it more than once. 
but then I'm taking my hair down just to let it breathe and I'm ready for bed and then it's time to get Milo ready for bed. So he had a bath on this night. I put him in one of his Christmas onesies to sleep in. He was loving the camera. This one's from Old Navy. So cute. I'll link it down below if you can still get it um, if you want it for next year. I don't know. I'll just link it. But these are some of my favorite baby products. The Burt's Bees Nourishing, Nourishing Lotion. The Multipurpose Ointment. He has a couple dry spots on his forehead that I put that on. And then the seedlings from Young Living Baby Oil, it's like a lavender scented. I put that on his chest and on the bottom of his feet just to help calm him down. And then we make our way downstairs. Um, this night we were watching a Christmas movie and we made some sugar cookies, but Bradley is lighting a fire just to make it nice and extra cozy. Ludo is there, of course, with his Christmas bandana. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, we made some sugar cookies. This was like my first year that I actually made them the right thickness so they didn't burn in the oven. And I'm kind of really excited about making them again sometime because I feel like I figured it out. <laughs> so I'm still terrible at decorating them. I gotta figure that part out. But I, I always made them too thin and now I know I should make them thicker than I think. But I made some candy canes and a Christmas tree or a star and a snowflake. Um, one of my best friend's boyfriends is a baker and he gave me his recipe. Maybe he'll let me share it at some point. Um, but yeah, they turned out really, really, really good and tasty. Then we eventually head upstairs and I've talked about it so much, but I can't tell you guys enough how much I've enjoyed having a Christmas tree in the bedroom. So this has to stay every year. <laughs> I love it. It's our Disney tree. And I also do have the multicolored lights on our headboard, which is just an extra. I always have lights on our headboard, but the multicolored one with the white string is just an extra Christmassy flair. And I love it. And we watch um, Muppet Christmas Carol pretty much every night. We had to change Milo because he puked, of course. We change him so often. But look at my baby, you guys. He's so cute. So we just hang out. Um, he does sleep in the snoo in our bedroom still. We're about to try to switch to sleep training in the crib. Um, Ludo at this time of night just turns into a demon. Like he gets really excited and hyped up as you can see. So Bradley and Ludo play what we call hallway ball where Bradley just throws something down the hallway and Ludo goes to fetch it. And so that's what's happening here. My crazy dog. And yeah, like I said, we watch Muppets Christmas Carol. I literally watch it every night to go to sleep and there's no shame in that. It is so good. If you haven't watched it, it's on Disney Plus. It's incredible. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed our cozy winter nighttime routine. I hope you guys have had a lovely December. I will be back with one more holiday me video. But other than that, I will see you in the new year. I love you guys. I hope you have a really nice Christmas. I'll see you very soon back on this channel or over on Instagram. And I love you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.